morning. Welcome to another episode of Crooks in a Caravan. It's Australia Day weekend and we are at Southern Stars Caravan Park for the weekend. We have been away a few times since our last video. Um, we were here for the um, Eternity Caravans meetup in November um, and uh, we'll drop some footage of that in. And we also were here for New Year. This is coming, becoming a bit of a home away from home for us. I think most of the footage you'll see in this video will be of Southern Stars. Um, so yeah, you can call it a Southern Stars special maybe. Um, but those of you that were at the Eternity Meetup, um, sorry, we didn't get that video out in a very timely manner. And um, I think we were a little bit busy on that weekend to really make sure that we got some good content. So it was a bit hard to edit. So what we thought we'd do is um, check it in as a reel um, so you can all uh, reminisce and remember what we got up to. key caravan system for a while it's awesome all our hatches even the toilet cassette doors everything open using the one key the only thing we couldn't do was our water filler caps we have a separate key for that but now thanks to one key caravan we've got brand new filler caps so we've got three of them very easy to swap out if you know how easy these are to get off unlock it Unscrew it. You on in. And locked. That's it. Gotta be what? Five seconds per cap? Anyway, one key caravan. We have come down to a beach somewhere between Southern Stars Caravan Park and Busselton, not exactly sure. Um, as you can see, it's got that very busy WA feel about it. <laughs> Water looks inviting, but it's a little bit chilly. But I'm sure once it warms up, we may have a dip. Beautiful spot.
Mark is now trying his hand at a bit of fishing. I don't really know why we call it fishing. We should call it standing in the water holding a rod. Because fishing would indicate that you catch fish. And we never catch fish. <laughs> no. We caught well, a blowies. squid. And blowies. We caught a squid once. The blowies came? No. A squid once. <laughs> probably not the right rod, the right rig, the right bait, right. the right time weather, of, right time of day. the right time of day, the right spot. Anyway, keeps your feet cool. So you're looking very posh on your bike in your dress. Where are we heading off to? We are going to Flame Tree Winery to have some bubbles and lunch, I believe. Sounds awesome. So Flame Tree is only about two k's from the campground. Uh -huh. Two. <laughs> um, this is quite a good run down Chain Avenue on the bikes. Road's a bit busy sometimes, but we'll survive. We've got a few bubbles. platters uh, that you do. Um, you go and select all your stuff out the fridge and, and he's laid it very nicely. Problem is the lady recognised us from when we were here last time. <laughs> Didn't eat last time. No. She was just trying to remember what wine we bought. A lot. Uh, flame tree was great. We had a really nice lunch. A bottle of sparkling wine, uh, which we bought one to come home with. Um, and then we did some wine tasting. And we ended up buying, I think, 15 bottles of wine. We bought a case, which was on special, some more sparkling, a bottle of Quintet, which is a five grapes mix. Very good. Yeah, and lunch, they don't do like, um meals there as such you just help yourself to like cheese and meats um, and buy what you want yeah, like a crackers, picnic platter um, and then just go and eat that at one of their outdoor tables, tables. or on the grass so really nice and apparently they've got live music on Sunday afternoon so might be another bike ride another bottle of bubbly yeah we'll see anyway now I'm in my hammock got a cup night of tea night. Night. and maybe have a nana nap I'll see you soon. <laughs> Just doing a really beautiful bike ride from Sun Stars into Dunsborough. Uh, There's a little bit along Cheney Avenue, but then the rest is uh, these dual use cycle slash walking paths. Oh, this place is for sale. Now that's beachfront. Cycling to Bunbury, we've stopped at Lala Cafe and we're having the Lala 
which is their breakfast, which looks pretty amazing. And we've got a little glass of mimosa. More bubbles. But it's got vitamin C, so it's good for you. So we've just got back from our bike ride uh, into Dunsborough. It's a really nice ride. The paths are great. They are shared, so you've got to be aware of pedestrians. Um, slightly annoying when they're wearing headphones and you're coming up behind them and they can't hear your bell, but anyway, is what it is. Um, and just sort of show you where we are staying at Southern Stars. So we're on site 50, uh, which is a bit of a favourite of ours because um, it's on the end of an aisle, uh, aisle row. Um, you see the van there behind me. Um, Dan is just over there with the dog play area behind it. There's an oval over there. And just up there is the camp kitchen. So it's it's a nice spot. They're all really big here. They look after their grass and so they're very proud of it. Um, and it's just, yeah, beautiful. We've been getting a lot of wind in the afternoon. So the awning's been in there, in and out, in there. We've just got it out at the moment. So we just got back and we wanted a bit of a shade. It is Sunday morning and uh, we've done our usual public holiday thing and um, are staying tonight. We'll head back early tomorrow morning. Watched a lot of people packing up. I think they said 70 leaving today, but uh, 15 coming into the site. And we are now on our, one of our favorite walks down here in the Southwest from Dunsborough boat lamp ramp towards Meelup Beach. Um, it's actually just rained. Um, it was a bit cloudy. Yeah. Um, and I don't we... know if you can see the sky behind us over there. It's really quite gray, but yeah. it's brightening up ahead of us. So. So. Even with the uh, sky grey and cloudy, it's still pretty stunning. And the ocean through there is that amazing blue. I don't know if it'll come through on the GoPro. Now, this is the reason why this is one of our favourite walks. It's easily accessible and then you get scenery like this. So this is Castle Rock Beach. Um, last time we were here I got some uh, top-down drone pictures um, which has hopefully been printed by now and we'll show you when it's up on the wall but yeah there's boats it's just again bloody beautiful and that's castle rock people do climb that just coming back into dunsborough it's about eight k's in total but from dunsborough about round to meal beach and then back again um, the sky is clear and it's getting warmer now. And there was a coffee van at Meelup Beach. Which was a win. It wasn't the greatest, but it was definitely right. better than no coffee. <laughs> to come out and do some archery this afternoon um, so far Mark's a bit better than I am but that would be to be expected so showing us how it's done 
So I think it was uh, $25 each uh, for three al arrows each at 10 targets. Yeah. So, um, and there's all different sorts of packages you can do. We just went with a, a middle of the road one. Um, they show you what to do. They give you the safety breathing. They give you special things for on your arms because apparently we were pinging our arms. I'm on the red arrows, red and black. Mandy is green. Well, so far we're all doing pretty good because we're hitting the target. I'm just a little bit more accurate than Mandy. Sorry, just got to get this on camera. Just call me Robin Hood. Look at that, I nearly split my arrow. <laughs> As you progress down the course the um, place where you stand gets further uh, from the target just to make it a bit more challenging. Um, we're at number nine and I think we're at uh, 15 meters from the target. So how did you go? <laughs> one hit the thing. <laughs> it's one of those things um, that I feel like the harder I try the worse I get. Same happens to me at Tempin Bowling mini golf. Uh, anything really that I don't think should require any skill, but obviously does. But anyway, good fun. He's the master at work. <laughs> He's drawing his bow, bringing it right back to his cheek and bang. Oh yes. I've got in the yellow blobbers. Yellow blobbers is good in <laughs> case you don't know. I'd say that was pretty good fun. Um, it took us probably just about an hour to do all 10 targets. Um, I won, but we weren't really scoring for a winner. We were just having a good time, but I won. <laughs> Might come back and do that again another time when we're down here. See if we can beat our scores from this time. Well, that's it. Our trip is done for the Australia Day weekend. Um, we had a really good time, nice and relaxing. Always good to get away, always good to go to Southern Stars. We have a bigger road trip coming up. We are heading off for a week. We're going to explore some areas that we've not been before. Um, we're gonna go down to Bremer Bay and then across to Denmark. So we've got a week to go and explore. We haven't really got any sites booked. We're just gonna wing it depending on the weather, whether we be coast or go inland a bit. We would like to do uh, the climb up Bluff Knoll um, and attempt the Granite Skywalk, but some of us aren't very good on heights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and we will have more content coming very, very soon. Thanks guys. See you on the road. Mm -hmm.